In this episode of Plastic Ghosts, we're going to celebrate Christmas the only way I know how. By talking about forgotten 80s fast food Christmas toys. So, stick around. Hello fellow dorks and dorkettes and welcome to Plastic Ghosts. My name is Rob, and this is a show where we talk about those forgotten toys of yesteryear that still wander the toy aisles of our past and haunt our memories. I know, it sounds very ominous, but we're just talking about forgotten toys from the 1980s. In this episode, we will be celebrating Christmas by talking about some forgotten fast food premium toys that came out in the 1980s from some of our favorite fast food restaurants. Just a quick disclaimer before we jump into things, some of these aren't plastic at all. Some of them might not even be thought of as toys, but they are all within the giant awesome scheme of things of 80s pop culture that we all grew up and love. So without further ado, let's get to number one on the list. <laughs> number one on the list? comes from Arby's in a time where they did not have the meats yet, in 1989. These are Looney Tune holiday ornaments, and yes, they are ornaments and not necessarily toys, but if you just pop off the strings, yeah, you got yourself a little, like, PVC figure of sorts. Anyway, this very small holiday ornament assortment only had three characters. You had Porky Pig, Bugs Bunny, and Tweety Bird all decked out in their finest holiday gear. And to be honest, I don't know what the catch was on getting these ornaments. Maybe you could just purchase them outright, or maybe they came in the Arby's kids meal. I'm not 100% sure. I remember growing up and my parents' friends had a Christmas tree decked out in all of these awesome Looney Tunes ornaments. Not these, because we're talking many years before this, but these are very reminiscent of that for me, so I think they're kind of cool just for that aspect of nostalgia. Anyway, not much to say about these, but I think they're truly forgotten. I don't remember these, do you? <laughs> Number two on the list was a product that was created by Hallmark. But, in the year 1987, they sold smaller versions of them at Burger King. These are Rodney Reindeer and his friends. Now, let me just say this because a lot of newer viewers kind of don't like that I go off on nostalgia-tinged tangents. But, let me start things off with it, and feel free to fast-forward if you want. But, I used to love Rodney Reindeer. Now, when I look at the year of 1987, I'm kind of shocked because I feel like I, you know, was playing with the one that I had much earlier than this. I'm not sure of the release year. I will pop it up there of when they were sold in, you know, Hallmark stores. But, yeah, I loved the Rodney Reindeer that I had. Now, these little plush stuffed animals had a really soft, uh, felt-like fur, if you will, and their large, oversized hooves were full of, you know, beanbag material, so they had some weight to them. Now, the one I had, for whatever reason, got stored in, you know, the Christmas container, and it had such a really nice, you know, holiday scent to it, because it was in there with different candles and potpourris and things like that. So, yeah, I have a really strong nostalgia for Rodney, and... I swear, if I would smell that scent again, I would just probably explode from holiday bliss. Now anyway, I have found the original commercial that aired in 1987, so I will let that do the talking for me, because it'll do a far better job than I can. 
Look, what do your wondering eyes now appear? Only at Burger King, it's cuddly reindeer. There's Rodney, Ramona, Rhonda, and Randy. At $1.99 each, the price is just dandy. Get a deer with your Whopper. Order one with your shake. Collect all four now. What presents they'll make. And for each reindeer you buy, Burger King will make a donation to Project Care and other local charities. Just look for your neighborhood Burger King sign for a merrier Christmas and the best food for fast times. <laughs> Number three on the list comes from McDonald's in the year 1986, and these are American Tale Fievel Christmas stockings. Based on the hit Don Bluth film, these four stockings featured the main character, Fievel, doing different Christmas or winter related activities. They have some awesome pictures on them, and the neat part was you got these for free at McDonald's whenever you purchase the $5 book of, you know, gift certificate things. I remember a buddy of mine used to always get these at Christmas and he thought he was Mr. High Stepper High Roller because he could roll into McDonald's and get pretty much whatever he wanted. Anyway, every time you would purchase one of these books, you would get the stocking for free. And again, I've talked enough about this subject. Now it's time for the experts to step in. Here is the original McDonald's commercial from 1986. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring except Fievel the mouse. Presenting Fievel, the adorable star of Steven Spielberg's presentation of the Don Bluth film An American Tale. Now collect all four different McDonald's stocking ornaments featuring Fievel. Each one comes free when you buy the perfect stocking stuffer. A $5 book of McDonald's gift certificates. This holiday season, give a terrific surprise. Free Fievel stockings with our gift certificates inside. <laughs> Number four on the list comes from a movie that I have absolutely despised ever since the first time I watched it. Maybe we'll get into that one day, but you know me, I like steering clear of negative things, but this movie might deserve it. Anyway, the movie was Santa Claus the movie. The toy was from McDonald's, 1985. Now, the toy was a small, plush tree ornament of a reindeer. It's actually pretty darn cute, and you didn't need to muddy the waters by attaching it to such a abysmal film. But, if I had this, I would just strike any ties that it had to that movie, and just be happy with having a cute little reindeer on the tree. Like the American Tail Christmas stockings, you would get this cute little reindeer for free whenever you purchase the little gift certificate booklets. But they also had a Happy Meal tie-in of storybooks that were, of course, based on the movie. But through the magic of retro media, I'm going to let the original commercial do the rest of the talking for me. Now, I am going to include both of the commercials, one for the cute little reindeer, and also for the crappy storybooks. So, here you go. In a distant land, Santa's elves are especially busy making you something special. Mm. A stuffed reindeer ornament just like the reindeer in the new motion picture Santa Claus the movie. <laughs> Good likeness. And it's free when you buy a $5 book of McDonald's gift certificates. So put plenty of both on your Christmas list. McDonald's gift certificates and free reindeer ornaments. Seems believing. When you buy McDonald's Happy Meal featuring Santa Claus the movie, you get one of four full-color storybooks or coloring books. Thank you, Santa! Ho, ho, ho! McDonald's Happy Meal featuring Santa Claus coloring or storybooks. Now, our last fast food premium item that we will be talking about is probably the one closest to a toy or action figure that you will find on this list. This comes from Roy Rogers in the year 1989. Now, question for everybody. Was there a Roy Rogers in your town growing up? See, when they actually built one in my town, the very small town I grew up in, we actually had a huge parade that went through the main street of our town that featured Roy Rogers himself. 
So he actually came to our super small town just to usher in his restaurant. I always thought that was so awesome. I can't remember how old I was, but yeah, that was the closest I ever got to greatness at that young age. Anyway, with that nostalgia out of the way, these toys were Gator Tales. Now, I cannot find any info of relevance to this product, franchise, whatever it is. I found that there was a children's book called Gator Tales that doesn't look similar at all to this. I found that there was a public broadcasting cartoon or TV show, I'm not 100% sure, that only aired in the Midwest called Gator Tales. Again, doesn't look similar to this at all. But anyway, these four little action figure-esque tree ornaments actually look pretty nice. I mean, for what they are, I mean, these are posable. Like I said earlier, you could just cut the string or whatever off of it and have a, you know, little alligator action figure. Now, these had, you know, different winter sports themed. I mean, one has snowshoes, one has skis and different stuff like that. And yeah, they're pretty cool. I actually like these and I'd be curious to see just where they came from, what they're about and, you know, honestly, how much they sell for nowadays. I mean, some of the items on this list, I have no idea what kind of collector's market is out there and it's really interesting. So when we do our hunting episode, it'll be pretty enlightening to see what, you know, is out there for these items. Anyway, I have lucked out yet again and surprisingly there is a commercial for this. I honestly didn't even know that Roy Rogers was big enough to actually have commercials on TV. I mean, he was big enough to come to our small town for a parade in his, you know, really, really golden years. But yeah, I was impressed that there's actually a commercial. So let's end things by watching it and hopefully you enjoy. What's neat about holidays is you get to open presents. Uh, 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 no peeking. Give it to me. What's not so neat about holidays is that you have to wait. Well, Roy Rogers has a package you can tear into right now, where you'll find a cool gator dressed for a wild winter. The gator tails come with mix and match hats. They even hang from your tree. And there's one in every kid's meal. So now you can get a gator and save the other presents for later. Anyway, folks, thank you for stopping by and talking about Five Forgotten, fast food premium, toys, plushies, ornaments, whatever you want to call them. No matter how you cut it, this is a great look at just the nostalgic awesomeness of Christmas in the 80s. Fast food restaurants really went all out. I mean, some of the most notorious Christmas fast food toys, I mean, the Muppet ones from McDonald's, the Mickey's Christmas Carol from Hardee's, those live in just Christmas infamy for us kids growing up at that time. And it's really neat to find just forgotten ones that kind of slip between the cracks or just weren't as awesome as those plushy sets. Anyway, Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you got something to say, please leave a comment. I love reading them and I love getting back to everybody. And if you're new around here and you enjoyed this or any of the other episodes that YouTube is recommending down here, please hit subscribe. And if you hit that little bell icon, you will be notified whenever there's a new episode. So anyway, until next time, thanks for watching. Keep being rad and stay dorky.